Change your heart, change your life, change the planet. I'm not a wine drinker, but check this out. It's a flirty bird. <laughs> it's a chicken in high heels and a pearl necklace. As I was walking out of the store and walking over the snowbank and through the slush to get to my car, I was thinking about how strange it is that I'm buying a crap load of tropical fruit oranges in the middle of winter. It's in the single digits right now and I'm buying a ton of oranges and we just kind of take that for granted. So many of us. My grandmother, when she was a kid, they didn't have oranges. They didn't have bananas. They didn't have the worldwide trucking, shipping, boating uh, system that we do now. So this is an incredible luxury and I really gotta take a moment and be present to that. I can get oranges in the middle of a deep freeze. That's pretty cool. It's the night before the snowshoe race that I'm hosting and this is my kitchen table at the moment. It is covered with race numbers, which I have made myself. I call them mini bibs because they're tiny. So keeping with the theme, I've got tiny bananas and tiny red bananas and a big thing of lettuce and an avocado and some sprouts and some sprouts, avocado, banana and lettuce. I was all ready to eat my <laughs> delicious lettuce, banana, avocado, sprout taco. I was about to put it in my mouth and I realized I have no teeth. I can't bite into it. I mastered the side entry technique and I've been able to have three of these now. It's my third one. Watch this. Mm. It's messy, but it's good. Mm. It really is good. Oh, and added some cinnamon too. And the water from the lettuce is running with cinnamon all over my fingers. It's delicious. Problem is they're messy. Do I have anything in my teeth? Do I have anything in there? Do you see anything? Do I have anything in my teeth? <laughs> this is something that I just saw that kind of pisses me off. This is the cover of AARP magazine, which is a magazine for older people. And Kevin Costner and George Takai, who I love. Anyway, let's get back to Kevin here. Uh, they totally airbrushed his face and photoshopped him. And this is a magazine for old people. Let's celebrate being old, but let's not look old. <gasps> God forbid he actually look his age. No, we can't have that on the cover of a magazine for old people. Oh my God. And six bad habits that are really healthy. Yeah, right. We'll read that shortly. So here's the article on bad habits. Number one, drink coffee for breakfast. Just coffee. In other words, skip breakfast. Don't eat it. Just have coffee because that's smart because your liver is running out of glycogen and we all know how much glycogen or glucose is in coffee. None. So you'll be starting your day without a supply of sugar for the brain. That's smart. Number two, obsessively watch House of Cards because watching TV is good for you. <gasps> yeah, sitting down on your butt watching TV is good because keeping up with the complex plot stimulates your brain. Uh, not really, I'm sorry. Sitting on your butt actually causes the brain to shrink. Look at the studies on that. Number three, occasionally blowing your stack. Getting angry is a good thing. Well, it can be a good thing if you're not directing that anger at someone or at something, but just simply expressing that you are experiencing anger. I'm angry right now. Not, I hate you and I want to kill you and I want to beat you and then beating up a, a dummy or a punching bag. That's actually been shown to make things worse for you. Number four, uh, don't worry if you're not a clean person because rags and sponges actually spread germs around the house. Okay, that's stupid. Number five, you'll never believe what to be told by, huh? Sharing harmless gossip is good because it boosts social bonds? Oh my God, seriously? Uh, number six, don't cut the grass, just take a nap and be lazy like this cat right here. Okay, it is a good idea to take naps, I agree with them there, but um, if you're procrastinating, that's not 
healthy. It means you're fearing something, you fear inadequacy, and you're avoiding it because you feel you can't measure up to the task. So getting back into bed in that situation is not the best choice. Um, all right, speaking of non-lazy kitties, there's my Wolfie, she's hanging out with me. Wolfie follows me everywhere, she's my little girl. Right, Wolf? She doesn't like to be on me, she likes to be next to me. Chirpa always wanted to be on me, but Wolfie just wants to be near me. And I don't consider her my kitty, she's just a, she's a friend of mine. <laughs>